Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial we will learn how to connect a push button to the Orion and how to trigger the blackout of the Matrix 5 software. In this tutorial we will connect the push button to V plus and pin 4 of the Orion. At the Orion configuration, we want to change the measure function to digital for the connected pin 4. At the DMX channel configuration, we want to output the data of pin 4 to DMX channel 1. The result modifier should be set to 1 channel 8 bit. And we want to output the data via ARTNET broadcast to Universe 10. When working with the Orion, an external power supply, between 5 and 24 voltage is necessary to measure any input. The USB connection and power supply isn't sufficient. At the Matrix software, we will use the connected Orion as input device to trigger the master fader between the value 0 and 255. That means always when the push button is pressed, the value should be set to 0, which means it will be black out. We are now at the Orion web configuration. If you want to learn more about the control panel of the Orion, please have a look at the tutorial Orion control panel. To call the Orion web user interface, the Orion needs to be connected via Ethernet to your PC and you will need to type the Orion IP address as address in your desired browser. According to our task, we want to change the measure function of pin 4 to digital hysteresis threshold. Now we also need to set up the limits because the digital hysteresis will work between these limits. So in our tutorial we will work between 3 and 9 volt since we are using a 12 volt power supply. And always the Orion will trigger if the value is below 3 or above the 9 volt limit. After we have changed the setting in this pin input configuration section, we click Z. And the next step, we need to configure the DMX output configuration. For pin 4, we want to output the data at DMX channel number 1. So we change the DMX channel configuration to number 1. Now we need to pay attention because also the first pin is set to DMX channel number 1 and we have to change this DMX channel configuration to an unused one. In our example we change it simply to channel number 10. And now we can click set. There are now different possibilities if you want to trigger the DMX fader for the master to zero if the button is pushed. In our example we want to go the way that we will send the value 255 if the button isn't pushed. That means the contact is open so the minimum value in that case is 255 and the maximum value that means the value if the button will be pushed we set to zero. It's like an inverted 
channel configuration, now we can click set to accept also this option. Of course, you will have the possibility to change the channel value to inverted. So the result modifier will be set to inverted. That's possible. But in our example, we work with one channel 8 bit and we change the values from 255 to zero. We don't need to click set because we haven't changed anything. As last step for the Orion configuration is to change the send universe to number 10. Broadcast is set by default, so we click the set button to accept also this setting. Now the configuration for the Orion is finished and we need to have a look at the matrix user interface. We are in the matrix software. You can see the user interface and a sample setup is loaded. If you don't know how to load a setup in matrix or to work with matrix in general, I recommend to have a look at the matrix video tutorials. But now we want to configure our communication with the connected Orion. Therefore, we navigate to Preferences, Device Manager. We select the Artnet tab first. If Artnet is disabled, we enable Artnet. And then we click the Magnifier button to search for devices. Now, the connected Orion is found and you can see it will send the data at universe number 10. That means at Artnet universe number 10. We have to enable the connected Orion. Therefore, we click the DMX devices tab and change the state from off to on. Simply perform a double click or a right click and then select on in the context menu. Now we enable the remote control. Therefore, we select the DMX input tab, select the first input universe and then at DMX devices, we select the Orion. Now we enable remote and we create our user input configuration via selecting the user configuration and then click the edit button at the DMX remote input editor. We click plus and we select output master and that's it because by default the output master is the first, the first line and this line is assigned to channel number one like our Orion will output the data. We only change the execution function in this tutorial to on value changed and then we close it. In this tutorial we don't need to save this configuration because if we save the setup it is already saved. And then we can click OK. Now let us test the configuration. Always when I press the button, the master fader is set to zero, which means the blackout is activated. And as soon as I release the push button, the value of the fader is set to full on, that means 255. Of course, you can trigger as often as you want. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.